Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem 5 dash 4. So in this problem, the copper pipe has an outer diameter of 40 millimeter and inner diameter of 37 millimeter. If it is tightly secured to the wall at A and three torques are applied to it as shown, determine the absolute maximum shearing stress developed in the pipe. So this is the pipe that is fixed at point A and three torques are applied. The inner and outer diameter is given so you have to find the maximum shearing stress developed in the pipe. So let's start with the given data. So it is given that outer diameter of the pipe is 40 millimeter which is again is equal to 0 0.04 meter inner diameter of the pipe is 37 millimeter is equal to 0 0.037 meter clear three torques at point at this point 80 newton meter at this point 20 and 30 newton are applied respectively so you have to find the absolute maximum absolute maximum sharing stress maximum sharing stress develop in the pipe So we will start its solution. For finding the maximum sharing stress, you will need the maximum torque. So, so for that purpose, we will section the pipe in three different places in order to find the torque. So here this is one, this is two and this is three. So for one, we will cut this pipe over here and we will draw the free body diagram. So this is let's say the pipe clear and at this end 80 newton into meter torque applied so definitely at this end opposite torque will act and that will be equal to this torque will be equal to 80 newton into meter for second we will cut it at point 2 and we will draw this pipe let's say this is the pipe clear here the 80 newton is given 80 newton into meter clear and here in this direction 20 newton into meter is given so here the net torque will be equal to uh, this is clockwise and this is anti-clockwise so 60 newton anti-clockwise is also required clear so this will be net torque t is equal to 60 newton into meter because these two will cancel the effect of this the third is we will uh, section the pipe over here and uh, i will draw the free wire diagram So at this end again 80 newton into meter clockwise clear at this point 20 newton not this like this it will counter clockwise it is clockwise again so let me correct it it will be like this counterclockwise and at third part it was it is given as like this clear so here the net torque t will be equal to this is 20 newton into meter and this is 30 newton into meter so 30 and 80 which is 90 they are both in same direction while 20 is in opposite direction so 90 will be in this direction so it will be in this direction here this is 90 newton into meter now from all this section we came about that maximum torque is in developed in the pipe is 90 newton into meter therefore 
the maximum shearing stress will be equal to torque max into maximum radius which is the outer diameter of the pipe uh, a radius of the pipe and that is 40 millimeter or 0 0.04 meter divided by j so maximum torque is 90 clear into c is radius clear where it where it is diameter so c is equal to d naught over 2 which is equal to 0 0.02 meter so we will put the value of c 0 0.02 meter divided by polar moment of inertia of pipe since this is hollow pipe so we will have pi by 2 into c outer which is 0 0.024 minus c inner which is 0 0.01854 because c inner the dia of inner uh, diameter of the pipe inner diameter of the pipe is 0 0.037 when you divide it by 2 it will give you the inner radius so I have put all the values and when you calculate it you will get the maximum shearing stress comes out to be 26.7 into 10 to the power 6 Pascal or you can further simplify it the maximum shearing stress is 26.7 mega Pascal. This is the maximum shearing stress that will be developed in the pipe due to this loading as shown in the figure. I hope it is clear to you now. Thank you for watching.